he does like he does an hour tight. It's like two, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. This was the most this is the most magical thing in my entire life. This is why I was like, I'm I'm just gonna die. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 just staff. So there's maybe like 15, 20 people. If you've seen Chappelle, he's got his DJ there the whole night spinning yeah, off yeah. to the stage. And if you've seen him do long sets, sometimes he has like these jokes with him that like they'll play oh, yeah, yeah. music and he'll do a, a joke about the song. Dude, it's like three o'clock in the morning. And like I, I like just finished talking to like Chappelle briefly, just suck or whatever. <laughs> and like you can tell he, he really wants to kind of like interact with us mm. but like he doesn't know like everyone just talks to him like a certain way and but he, yeah. he wants to be one of the guys but he knows he can't i see this dude sits up on he's like a trans person <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. I'm your host, Pier 69. I'm sitting next to my co-host, um, Pier 69. Pier 69. <laughs> 69. Uh, behind us. Hi, I'm uh, guest hosting. I'm Pier 69. And I'm also Pier 69. Yeah. Nice. Let's fucking go, dog. Joey, how was your uh, time off from us? Did you think uh, that podcast was better? And do you want to start a new podcast? <laughs> That's just the Pier 69 Austin. Because we, mm. as, as our fans will know, uh, we don't put out a ton of episodes. Mm. So it's a good <laughs> way to get them out. Gotcha. So I actually do think if one of us is in a town and we can't do an episode... On a certain week, if we can find three suitable comedians to fill in, it's worth a shot. Oh, yeah, yeah 100%. And then we'll pit uh, the groups against each other. So we have the Pier 69 yeah, Austin death. group. We'll do, we'll get ones in, in different cities, and then we'll do a round robin to see who's Ooh, the best. Mm. You going to Red Robin? We are going to Red Robin. Cool. Mm. Down with that, That's bro. the winner gets Red Robin. Oh, <laughs> now on that. worth fighting for. Yeah. First, yeah. I thought it was just for the pod. I don't care about that. Mm. But Red Robin. Yum. Did you, uh, yeah, did you learn any cool secrets about Brennan Schaub's openers? Um, <laughs> or what it's like working with um, <laughs> Papa on the road or what? <laughs> I learned that if I was a worse person and had used SEO titling on that episode, it would have gotten 300,000 views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, though. Yeah. 100%. But I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Right. Uh, did you try to... Did you try to um, did you try to steer sneak, into it? Steer, sneaking into the uh, into Chang's or what? No. Oh, you didn't even try to the, sneak it in. No, no. I, I I offered. I was like, I should I just post it in there. And he's like, No, nah, we shouldn't do any of that. I don't think yeah. you want to like actively seek out that negative vortex. We of need energy. views, Joey. <laughs> negative or positive? That is we true. I should have been on my Kim Kardashian shit and 100%. just sex taped yeah. it. But yeah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to th thirst for it. You fucked one yeah. of them. That's awesome. I did. Nice. Yeah. Well, we can always sneak it in. And the great thing about that is, is we're not involved. Because we're not in it? Yeah. Perfect. So that's pretty sweet, right? That's pretty good. Yeah. That's a win-win for us. Yeah. yeah. The top comment would have been like, who the fuck is this white chode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they would hate us on there. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, get yeah, ripped yeah. apart viciously. Yeah. Sure, yeah, of course. Rightfully so. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I actually am going to start a Reddit hate group about us. Not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, that is actually a good idea. That's how you get your. Everyone's putting out YouTube specials. That's how you get yeah. views on it. You yeah. get a bunch of like hate basement watchers. dwelling dorks to make uh, video recaps of it. I'll tell yeah. you what, though. I was reading YouTube comments for the first time of my Don't Tell set um, last night. How was that? Comments are hurtful, bro. Oh yeah? Really? yeah, even when the ratio is like, it's always like it's 10, 15 great ones, yeah. one bad it's one, the and one you're bad like, one that hits you. Fuck negative is wrong bias, you? bro. Negative I bias. have a bad posture, is what I've learned. Yeah, well, but that's that true. Ain't shit, bro. That's like some bitch ass shit. Like I don't give a. What fuck do they say about you? I just like mean things, bro. <laughs> like what? Like what, dude? Like what? <laughs> just like just like shit that pissed me off. Like oh yeah, probably not cool to do a school shooting joke now. Oh uh, yeah, like, yeah. So yeah. I don't have a time machine. Hey, fucking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, my fucking Goku. Timestamp that. <laughs> Goku. <laughs> Shorthand. <laughs> my shit's fucking. Seven fifty nine. My shit is. Uh, I mean, that we're was like filmed so long yeah. ago, bro. Yeah. 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 
Well, uh, what are you supposed to? And I then, mean, like that one set I had put up, like uh, has like forty thousand views now. Nice. And like it's all the same material, and they're like, "Dude, this guy just doesn't write new jokes." And I'm like, "Yeah, but you're not supposed to know that." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what set? What other? This set is a do cheaper you set. I have a cheaper there. set up uh, there, like forty k. It's damn. just like yuck. Well, it's just when they get put in the like. Their experience is probably, oh, they watch it. The YouTube algorithm goes, oh, you like Mark Smalls? Here's some more Mark Smalls. And then you're like, here's yeah. the same Mark Smalls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mark Smalls is just a little worse. <laughs> Does you, what do you get? I don't get a lot of comments. Oh. Uh, no, I, I, it, it, I mean, it depends on the video. Let's mm. read. Uh, you know, the positive ones, sometimes people think I'm hot. But if I post anything <laughs> that's negative about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about that. bad comments. No, no, no. I want to talk about the, the <laughs> positive ones. We're talking about good comments. Yeah, dude. It must be so hard, Joey. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Get all those comments that you being hot. Uh, whenever I post one that says, like, I did one that, it wasn't even about Trump, but it, it like, I... T- I get negative comments whenever I say anything mean about Trump. People oh, okay. go fucking... Everyone just goes, they, they not see, funny, they, fucking loser, because they get They triggered. see you as a traitor. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, like... They see a video with me. The thumbnail says Trump. They go, finally, yeah, yeah. a comedian for us. Yeah. And then it's and then not like, usually no. for that. Yeah, mine is a lot about my appearance. Mm. Negative. Some people hate how I look. Yeah, probably yeah, the, the same th- people yeah, who yeah, don't yeah, like exactly. when I go against <laughs> Trump. <laughs> 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 no, but, but, but it, it's not. It's like my outfits. Either uh, they either they love it. That's even more hurtful for Andrew for me, than his yeah. race. But yeah. they even. <laughs> They either Racism love it. Racism you can put aside, but making yeah. fun of his they, outfits. They like, they're like so confused by it. Like my favorite one was uh, people want to uh, wear Carhartt until it's time to do Carhartt things. Mm. <laughs> That's, That's pretty funny. funny. It's very funny. Yeah. That's actually very cool. funny. <laughs> That's pretty good. That should be the name of your album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy though? Like you're a big Carhartt guy, but like you do Carhartt shit. Bro. I do. That's the thing about no, it. Do I Carhartt paint shit. shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the shoes end up on their paint accidentally. Yeah. I do it on purpose, yeah. but yeah. Now you do like car work shit. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You got like it's a you so got like funny. a greaser vibe to you. Yeah, you're like, sorry, this is not a, a racial epithet. Oh, bro, come on, God. You can't keep saying these things, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Greaseroo. <Yeah. laughs> the, the one that really hurt me, though, was uh, oh, the one that you sent me. It was like, oh, why did oh, I send you one? Uh, why did you send him one? That's so uh, <laughs> Hey, look at this horrific comment about you. I don't know if you caught it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's written by Daoud. Yeah. <laughs> no, Different but, one. But it was, uh, I look like Bobby Lee's stunt double. Uh, I don't. I think that's funny. I don't ever say. Yeah, that's, that's, not that's not bad. bad. I mean, that's just kind of racist. He's not the hottest guy. It's just kind of racist. Yeah. 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 One guy told me I look like a Trevor Wallace character. That pissed me off. That's uh, fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that's elephant. That shit was upsetting. What about you, dude? Uh, I'm gonna pull up what I look like. All we're doing is just going through our negative. Yeah, comments. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, dude, the, one of the funny ones I got, he was like. Sure, he seems like a nice guy, but I don't like his comedy. <laughs> oh my god! So it's like he likes me as a person, but yeah. not my comedy. <laughs> Dowd's showing a photo that I will <laughs> insert at eleven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> is that the Holy dude from Gravity Falls? It is Gravity Falls, bro. Holy shit! It's always it's always a co- top comment. It's like, hey. Y'all ever seen Grady B. Falls? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know exactly. That's yeah. so that mean. Bro. That's oh my insane. God. But so it's so accurate, funny, though. That's and insane. I always, I always, I, I, they say, have you seen Gravity Falls? And then I comic, uh, I guess his name is S-O-O-S. I don't know how you say it. Sus or Sos or whatever. And I'm, I always, bitches I always so say it and then it's a top comment. Yeah. So I, I get ahead of it now. That's that's <laughs> fucking <laughs> hilarious. <funny>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I don't really mind the like look, the <laughs> yeah, look, look like, like shit. Like, it's always like Jorge Masvidal or like crackhead Bradley Cooper. Yeah. Or, you know, Masvidal. I don't get the <laughs> Trevor Wallace alter ego though. That, that, <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I don't either. That makes sense. I get it. It's upsetting. pretty good. <laughs> you get it? One hundred percent. How? What? Bro, you, <laughs> come on, guy. Get what? He looks exactly like one of the characters Trevor Wallace would be doing. Oh, I see. If like Trevor put a wig on or something. Yeah. Yeah. Russ. Russ. That one made you feel good. <laughs> this fucking Shut up. loser, bro. <laughs> Russ sucks. If, any, if hey, anyone likes out. funny comedy, watch Sam Morrill instead of this guy. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel That's like crazy. he's like the king of people. Be like, oh, if you really like comedy, yeah. this is who you'd watch. 
That was Sam. No Moral. fault. Of his own. Yeah, that yeah. was Sam Moral for and sure. And then I got a lot of uh, and then whatever like if, for clips, whatever the topic is, that community will come say, out and attack me. Yeah. All my so negative, Muslim yeah. people, I had like a fucking run of getting like a lot of stuff. Like, hey, uh, you shouldn't say this. You're gonna burn in hell. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then white women came out of the woodwork and just shit on me a lot. So those are the two. My hate is usually topic based. Exactly. Uh, or people, this, everyone does the like, where's the funny? Like if they yeah. just don't, and then it will start oh, a sub yeah. fight I never get because that. then people go watch the fucking joke. It's yeah. hilarious. And then they're like, I don't think it's funny. And then they're like, you're an inbred, you know? Yeah. 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 Most of mine is look based or they think I'm a nice person, but they hate my comedy. <laughs> there's like multiple are these friends there's of like yours? multiple yeah, of those yeah. level of that's how you came up in the comedy scene though, yeah you know? pretty like, much look based they think you're a nice person yeah, <laughs> <your position>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dude have you met Andrew he's such a nice guy and me and dad were like he's not <laughs> <laughs> why do people think that <laughs> he's just quiet <laughs> yeah. yeah for real he's just quiet but the thoughts inside there are dark bro yeah, dark thoughts <laughs> <laughs> Dark thoughts. <laughs> like a strip club. <laughs> I think it's called Magic City. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Well, we are just full sending, huh? Full sending. It's been a, we have a lot to get out, I think. Is what we got. Is. Can we address the room decor? Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Andrew Andrew hopped on Amazon. Uh, and a pillow here with a, got a, a nice cat riding a horse? Yeah. No, it would be nice. What kind of small horse is this? It's a big-ass cat or a small-ass horse? This is our <laughs> response to Flagrant 2's new studio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how we keep <laughs> we up the game. Added these. So. Yeah. Okay, so we posted that thing on uh, his story, like, goodbye, Flagrant. And he just fucking... Uh, just updated the studio. Moved the studio. That's yeah. Hilarious. It's smart. Uh, it's YouTube. Yeah. YouTube, baby. We should, we should like, hang that. We're considering hanging the shot ski and keeping it, but we could hang that yeah, too. We're all big drinkers. Well, I guess so. Uh, yeah. Dude, yeah. and I he are. Yeah. Like, in this yeah. house. Yeah, 100%. yeah. In this house, we drink. <laughs> Come on, my guy. Roomies. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, we do have similar vibes. Dad and I 100%. like to get fucked up and have a good time, and you guys like to take separate cars to the same place. <laughs> 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 Nah, my favorite thing was when you and uh, Holly passed out in the living room. <laughs> I told that story to Marissa. It's so fucking <laughs> funny. So we were we were drinking. We got back from Santa Barbara. We we're just like, fuck it. We started we just getting wasted. Yeah. And we're just doing shots and shots and shots. And uh, they both, you know, pass out. And uh, I think this is a good time for me to go get some snacks. So <laughs> Dude was, now, so this is important because were Dude they Joey was, snacks or something? <laughs> no, da- no. Uh, Daoud was ashamed of the fact that he wanted chips and he didn't want to eat them in front of us. Uh, yeah, because so, he wanted to appear that he was working on his diet. Yeah, I'm even though I don't give a fuck, I would have ordered McDonald's with you. We did order McDonald's, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> so when they've passed out, I was like, all right, time to go get some chips. So I went like 2 a.m., grabbed some chips from the thing, came back. They're still on the couches. So I was like, hey, Joey. And Joey wakes up, like, hey, you're on the couch. He goes, ah, Holly. Take my hand. <laughs> and she's like, no. <laughs> Holly, take take my hand. <laughs> and she's like, no. And he goes, <laughs> and just like passes out. <laughs> and, and then, then we woke up. like 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking good. That's hilarious. Take my hand. Take yeah. my hand. And I can just, I can hear the like, she's like, no. And I'm just like, yeah, fine. I'm going to sleep on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Good drinking buddies. Who yeah. cigarettes are those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We drank a little bit in the last week. You and I. Oh, me and Dawood had a fucking week, bro. Probably one of the greatest weeks of my entire life. Yeah, that's why I think like I'm dying because yeah. it's, like it doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. And so like I was like, yeah, well, it's over now. Hundred you percent. Know? Like first, sh- I was a hundred percent sure I was dying in a car crash. Like I'm um, leaving. Yeah. You know what? Not a bad way to go after I, I, And like I had made peace with it. Yeah, it would have been nice. I'm going to die, and that's fine. You're like, I got two clips of the same material on YouTube. People <laughs> can go back and find it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. It was good, though. And you well, know what's ex- funny? I can't private that other video 
Because I forget the password, bro. You don't have you like don't. a backup Re- email recover. or a phone no, number dude, or anything I to attach to it? I don't do that, dude. I, no, I hide my money in the walls, That's bro. a very, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to log into my, my space and I can't figure it out. Uh, they deleted all They deleted all, all of them. I got nah. into, I still have mine. I got into mine. I can't get into mine. But dude. Because they deleted it. Going into old photo bucket is a crazy place. Yeah, I don't want to go. Dude, I really hate this. Cor- is this charged enough? It, no. Fuck, bro. <laughs> God, right around the crotch. No, we had a good weekend. Me and him, we opened up for Matt Broussard at Punchline. Uh, it was a good weekend. That One of the it. most surreal experiences of my life, bro, like mm-hmm. opening up for Matt Broussard. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was life Honestly, after that, I was like, I could die. I could just die, dude. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Dude. Uh, yeah, so we opened up for Matt Broussard, and he is just fucking... Workhorse. Just, and he's great, bro. Good guy. Uh, he loves you, Andrew. Oh, cool. Yeah, he, he speaks very he, highly he of he you. He fucking adores you, and no matter how much we shit on you... We like, tried to bring you down, we, and he would he, not he, let he it happen. Not. <laughs> Shout <laughs> out, dude. Yeah, dude no. You texted me, uh, I just got Miss passed you. at... Uh, um, fucking, what, what club was it? Laugh Factory. Laugh Factory. Factory. And I said that to him, and me and Mark were like, ah, and Mar- uh, Broussard's like... Good for Andrew, dude. I fucking like, love that guy. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck Andrew. <laughs> but he's like, does he know how funny he is? I'm like, and we're like, what's what? going on? What are you on, talking dude? about, dude? <laughs> but yeah, he literally he like, takes he off his laptop. face. It's Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was cool. He was, he was a really yeah, good hang. He was a really good hang. And he like very funny. made us kind of work. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he hey, you guys want to do tags? He did make us work. Me and Mark looked at each other. like, we don't. We don't write. Yeah, at the end of the yeah. fir- at the end of the first night, he was like, "Yeah, dude, like, let's make this a productive ass weekend. What new jokes are you working on?" And I look at Dawood, and Dawood looks at me, and we're like, <laughs> "We're like, dude, we're trying to survive up there, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> new jokes. Yeah, we're on vacation, bro. Yeah, dude. We're getting these laughs. Yeah, I'm getting drunk. No, nah, but it was it really like forced me to like be like to f- make up a new premise. Yeah, and, that's uh, good." Did it. And he like helped us tag. We helped him tag. I, I, me and Dawood thought of a tag. I yeah. gave it to him. He loved it. I took all the credit. I came up with it, hundred <laughs> percent. And then <laughs> he said it, it. And then we became a team effort from there. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> it was like it was like <laughs> it, was so it was like when when uh, you're going to like Christmas and your girlfriend buys your mom something. Yeah, like, you, you wrote your name on the card. Name yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but like I had the idea of getting a present. Yeah, right. you were like, we should get a present. I got the present, you got and the then present. you gave the present. Yes, yeah. 100%. That's exactly how it was. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that was the whole weekend. <laughs> JK! Uh-huh. And then... Dude. So he, he was to supposed to headline on Tuesday. Yeah, so I, I... Yeah, I'm supposed to headline the punchline on Tuesday. I get a call on Friday from Molly, like right after the first show. And she was like... Uh, and I was like, oh, no. I was like, I'm getting fired off the weekend. Yeah. Uh, and like, for some reason, because I didn't work hard enough and I talked <laughs> shit about Andrew. Yeah. Matthew Broussard <laughs> is now firing me. <laughs> 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 off, off the weekend. Yeah. And she was just like, yep, Chappelle's coming in town. You're fucked. You sold it out, but we have to move the show. Yeah. You can either do it at Cobb's. It, and listen, she did. She said it much nicer than that. She was very upset. Of course. Like, yeah. Yeah. She, uh, we can move it at Cobbs. I was like, nah, just push the date back. What are you going to do? She was like, I have a word in to, to Chappelle's people for to you to open. I was like, yeah, you know, like if that's not, yeah. yeah, no yeah. shot. That's not going to happen, but yeah, 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 give it a shot. And then like maybe the Monday before, like the day before, I like sent her a text like, uh, like, yo, just ch- checking on some things. Um. Oh, yeah, she gave me the sack weekend, too. She gave you a sack weekend. And then she was like, what are you doing next week? I'm in the bay, and I'm like, I don't, I'm like looking up who's fucking, fe- who's who's yeah. headlining sack, and I'm like, huh, I don't really want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm obviously, I'll have you headline. I was like, oh, sweet. Oh, that's that fucking yeah. cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, you made out like a bandit. Dude, I made out like a <laughs> fucking bandit, bro. I mean, yeah. the punchline, that was like a couple of grand for me, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No. Because I, I didn't take a fucking straight flat deal, you know? But she's like, I'll give you that. And then, like, Monday, I, like, checked in with her about the show. And, like, immediately when I checked in, like, and also, what's up with the Chappelle people? Yeah, yeah. Like, she had sent a text, like, at the same fucking time. She's like, what did you call them? (laughs) 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 A lot of Chappelle people in San Francisco this weekend, more than usual. (laughs) And and she was like, uh, yeah, you got it. And I was like, and I just still didn't believe it. She's yeah. Like, Probably both shows, but for sure the early show. 
and fucking uh got both shows got both shows not only that like got me the next night as well Wednesday. maybe could have got the last night but you know w- but you had the weekend sack but some funny things went down during all these shows so both mark and daoud got to open for dave Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so like, 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 say, which also is important because daoud came back and he's telling me about the week he's like got to open for Chappelle, and i was like oh that's sick dude i love that dude, dude. i but he tells me all these stories. I'm like, wait, I thought you were talking about Chappelle Lacey. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> I was like, cause I was kind of upset that he wasn't. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, I was like, dude, what? he's the best. That's tight. No, be more like, and then I started talking about like Joe Montana, all these things. And then he's like, wait, are you talking about Dave Chappelle? <laughs> that wasn't was even in the realm of. He was downplaying it. I was getting so fucking oh, mad. Dude. I just walked in and was like, all right, Joe, you're a fucking big deal. I guess it's not a big deal to you. I'm just sitting there like you fucking transphobe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah. I learned, so so well, it's both of you or just? So he did Tuesday, Wednesday. I did Thursday. So I did ah. Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, two shows Tuesday, one show Wednesday. Um, I'll just say this. like He was filming a special. I'm really hoping it comes out because it's so fucking so funny. So good. It's Wait, he was so filming it at the punch? They had yeah, a bro. four camera, four. like red cam, legit yeah. setup. Did you, did you bring him up? No, no, no one brings him up. No, no one ever him brings him up. No one brings him up. He just he just walks. Oh, up I'm on stage. so happy he's filming one at the punchline. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And it's like it's very Bird Revelations esque. Yeah. Like uh, very like topical, like one through line. He's talking about the Chris Rock incident. He's talking about the net, the the Hollywood Bowl incident. He's talking about um, I don't know. He's he's like he's yeah. starting to do jokes about trans people. He's uh, <laughs> I realized, by the way, I realized that he does trans jokes literally just for the sport. Like, yeah. that's a hundred percent like, and that sport is women's swimming. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah, he, he does, does do jokes about that. <laughs> he does do that, of course. He, he does, does that. jokes about that. He talks about Hannah Gatsby. I love how he his he he retired about as long as Brett Favre, dude. Yeah. His last yeah. thing was like, I'm out, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. I think him getting attacked, like re. Yeah. Oh, it fires you up. Refired him but up. It, it, Comedians always go against what if it's like. Oh, you want to push back against me? Double down time. Yeah, exactly. Just, it's a, it, it's literally though just for the sport of it, bro. Like because I'll say this: like people think like he's got hate in his heart when he's like talking about like he's talking about he was talking about Elliot Page and he like correct he like doesn't misgender her. Yeah. He no. like him. corrects him. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh. Unlike Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Chappelle's said, transphobic opener. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you said his name right. <laughs> Elliot Page, her. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, he. you could see that he like cares and he's like making the effort for all those little yes. things. But then the, he still wants to make the joke. Yeah, and, no, and then no one will ever get over that. And yeah. it's literally because people are like, exactly. you, why, why can't you do, why can't you do other things? Or you can't do this. And it's just like, and it's, it, I, I see it, bro. He can do anything he wants, but it, yeah. he's the, he, he's literally the greatest. And he's like, dude, I'm doing high level expert comedy. Yeah. Like you can't, I, I can't quote. This best. I don't want to quote it. I just really hope it comes it's out. Great. It's great. Yeah, I really enjoyed it as phenomenal well. Phenomenal to see him do two hours on the first show, the first night, four hours the second show, and it's just all over the place. Yeah. I mean, he is. He's by the, Thursday, by, it was like. Dude, by clean. Wednesday, it, yeah. he did an hour to yeah. the fucking T. Yeah. And it was tight as fuck. And yeah. all that all over the place was like tagged, punchline, mm-hmm. through lines. It was dude, like, he is the Leah Thomas of stand up. It was crazy, bro. <laughs> Nice. And, that took me a second. I was like, "Who the fuck is that?" Oh, okay. And like, dude, on on fucking Wednesday night, he does like he does an hour tight. It's like two, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. This was the most. This is the most magical thing in my entire life. This is why I was like, "I'm I'm just gonna die." Bro. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 just staff. So there's maybe like 15, 20 people. If you've seen Chappelle, he's got his DJ there the whole night spinning yeah, off yeah. to the stage. And if you've seen him do long sets, sometimes he has like these jokes with him that like they'll play oh, yeah, yeah. music and he'll do a, a joke about the song. Dude, it's like three o'clock in the morning. And like I, I like just finished talking to like Chappelle briefly, just sucking his dick or whatever. <laughs> and like you can tell he, he really wants t- to kind of like interact with us mm. but like he doesn't know 
like everyone just talks to him like a certain way and but he, yeah. he wants to be one of the guys but he knows he can't i see this dude sits up on he's like a trans person <laughs> 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 oh shit that's perfect timestamp yeah that's a clip <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a clip baby no, I, yeah, yeah i thought that was funny <laughs> that's viral baby everyone just like so like he, this man it's three o'clock in the morning he goes and sits up on the stool and he grabs a mic and he says something to fuse in the mic and everyone's just like huh and he's just sitting there on stage and then someone just dims the lights to showtime lights yeah and everyone just like doesn't say a word. Everyone just, just yeah. goes and sits down. Oh, oh, shit. Like literally like, oh, yeah, it's showtime. And he just, everyone just sits down on the couch. And Chappelle's just sitting there like playing music. And for like 15 minutes, everyone's like, is this, he's about to do a set? But it's like showtime. Yeah. And then he just like says something so funny. And I can't remember because I just smoked weed. But like yeah, to yeah. break the tension, it was like the funniest thing. And then everyone just starts dying. And then this dude just does another hour, but like f- just for the staff. And like this, like not Chappelle, like trying to be the new Chappelle of like, I need to talk about the, the issues. Yeah. He's literally doing the silliest old yeah. jokes. Like w- it, it looked like he was a teenager again. Up yeah. There because he's doing these silly jokes about like, Fuse would play a song and he'd be like, literally does a joke like, like imagine me like, like dressed up like a like a racist Asian like stereotype like blackface <laughs> but for Asian. Yeah, it's like yeah. a song and then he like does like the fucking shit he's doing like no one ever gets stabbed to this song like Fuse like yeah. plays a song and he's like and it's like this slow ass song yeah. bro it's like and he does and it was the funniest shit he goes I'm moving to Ghana he goes and I'm opening up a c- club out there it's gonna be called the punchline <laughs> <laughs> just like just like silly ass yeah, shit yeah. and it was insane bro yeah that's awesome he's that's he's, cool. a, he's a magical figure like i it remember I, i've never gotten to be a part of the show but i bought tickets to those like special yeah, yeah. punchline nights i've been in the back as a comic yeah. i've waited in the ticketing line to yeah. buy the tickets and I think when he's at, and that's why I'm so stoked he's filming a special. They're yeah. getting to see him in that punchline venue that he clearly loves. Went he to loves. fucking City yeah, Hall yeah. to fucking save it. Yeah. It's our home club, but it's so intimate and it's just getting to like watch him work in that setting. And they're, they're, it feels so stripped down from the like the theater show yeah. and whatever the expectation is. And that's when you're just like, dude, I, I don't, just no one alive is like this at this level. Yeah, it's, it is. It's like, it's magical and it's so small. That's the thing. It's like yeah, it was, seeing him here. Yeah. It's like ridiculous because he does what like twenty thousand, thirty thousand seaters. You know what you that know Hollywood Bowl show was called? The Lunatics Manifesto. Oh yeah, too, that's fucking crazy. Really? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, I, that was. He was like, I might release that. He's like, I killed it. Like, yeah, it was phenomenal. He was, set. He was like talking himself up. He's like, yeah. I should have never. He's like, after I put out the Lunatics Manifesto or whatever, he's like, they rushed me school shooting. He's like, I'm fucking. I'm done with this shit. Yeah. Oof. He's like I'm. He's like, I, like I have too much power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it and was so like and so like here's here like uh, I don't know. Uh, sorry, what we're talking you? about this yeah, cool. a lot, but this no, is, I mean it's it's actually one of the more interesting things that has happened in our collective careers, <laughs> yeah. even though I wasn't there. So just like just like you got to open up, both of you got to open up for Dave Chappelle's next special. And like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, and like at our home club. Yeah, it that's w- insane. It, it really <laughs> was. It would have been cool if you opened for Chappelle Lacey, but. <laughs> <laughs> It was just like so cool having Dawu there, yeah. And like, um, you know, when Chappelle came up to us afterwards, he, or he like came up and he's like, "Great set, thank you." I yeah. Was like, no, thank you. Yeah, he's like, "Sorry, I went long." And you're like, "No, no, it's perfectly fine." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, "Did I fuck that up?" He's like, "Dude, he just said great set and thank you." Like, yeah, yeah. What the f- fuck? No, he wasn't apologizing for going long. He, he said was, sorry for something because he bumped me. Oh, that's what he was saying. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Chappelle apologizing for going long would have oh, okay. to be a twelve-hour set. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Sorry for bumping. Okay, that makes way more sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it was just like to have him there, and then like, just like, out, just like waiting to go up, being like, "How the fuck did I get here?" Yeah, yeah. And then like, just seeing like, I was like outside in the alleyway mm-hmm. where we used to sit, 
Yeah. Before even like ever going up on a Sunday in that little corner and like just like how far we fall. It was, just it was like, yeah, it was magical. Especially there. You know what I'm saying? It's literally we started yeah, there and yeah. it's like we're opening for Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. I'm like the, getting fucking. Yeah. I was nervous as shit. Uh, that was going to be my <laughs> next question. Were you nervous before you. Oh, no, bro. This was funny, bro. So no, I, I was nervous. No, I didn't throw. You know, it's interesting. I, I went in nervous, but it was probably the most confident. I just walked in as like. I've been here literally since Tuesday. Like I've been the whole day. You're nervous, and then you walk. in. I walk like, in. Oh. And once I saw it, it was packed. It was like standing rooms. Like this is gonna be a fuck. You can't Regan's probably fit, help yeah. you too. Riggins was like, "Yeah, don't worry about it." He's like, "Ignore the celebrities." <laughs> I was like, "He's like, he said, this like, is like yeah, the dude. scene from Zoolander." He yeah. literally said that. Yeah. It's like exactly <laughs> the scene from Zoolander. I was like, "Why the fuck are you saying this to me? I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to focus on like you know like yeah, he, uh, Snoop Dogg's gonna be here. Steph Curry's gonna be there. All coming. They didn't show up, but uh, <laughs> I was more nervous. Because it was my birthday, uh, the day I was going up. Happy birthday! Thank you. And uh, Dave Chappelle aside, m- most of my family was there. It was the first time my family's ever seen me. So my sister, my cousins, their husbands, they all bought tickets to see Chappelle, and I was uh, opening. And they kind of knew, but they they weren't they didn't really know. So it was the first time they ever saw me. I was opening for Chappelle, so I was more nervous. They're like, "How much did you pay to do this?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were like, they were so confused. They, and oh wow. So the first time they ever saw me, so it went well. They were very happy. It was, it was very nice. Like that felt more. It just it felt good, man. It felt oh my birthday, which I'm usually like so depressed on my birthdays and stuff. I like yeah. to be left alone, turn my phone off. But I was like, this is the greatest day. Why ever. do you usually feel that way? I think I'm just getting old and I just want to die. So like, <laughs> then you should be happy. Yeah, yeah. one more down. I don't know what it is. I'm just weird on my birthdays. I don't like celebrating. I don't like the attention. But yeah. that was like you know it was great. And then Joe Montana was there. Mm. That's fucking crazy. Fucking one of my childhood heroes, bro. And so I'm watching, I do my set and I'm watching Joe Montana. I'm sitting right behind him and Joe Montana goes to the bathroom. And I'm like, I got to follow Joe Montana to the bathroom. You know 100%. I'm, I'm going to get this I compliment. I want my flowers. I'm going to get this compliment from Joe fucking Montana. Yeah. I follow him to the bathroom. He hands you a, <laughs> a dollar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Thanks, as soon kid. as I walk into the bathroom, another person's like walking. I goes, oh, man, you're very funny. Great stuff. I'm like, thank you. Joe Montana's at the urinal, sees this, uh, finishes peeing, walks over to me, goes, you're very funny, young man. You have a bright future. Shakes my hand, Pre-wash. washes his hands, <laughs> and then walks out, dude. Damn. It was the funniest <laughs> fucking That's thing, fucking dude. Amazing, That's amazing, so funny. Dude. That's really funny. Bro, dude, I you touched Joe Montana's dick, bro. Dude. <laughs> I have not washed my hands since, yeah, bro. Yeah, did. It was so great. That's good. Fuck, that is incredible. How about you getting the gig, too? Yeah. yeah. Dude, how did that... So, so I, Dawood hung around the first show. Are you, are you cool he, telling the story? Yeah. Okay, Dawood cool. hangs around the first show, doesn't get in. Him and Serenity are hanging out. And I had like talked to Dane and the manager. I was like, <laughs> can Dawood get in with me? She was yeah. like, yeah, just bring him by. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I show up. It's like fucking crazy at those shows. Yeah. No one gets let in. Yeah, no it's even more. It's harder than it was. Yeah. Because it used to, I used yeah. to just kind of wait around. They let me in eventually. Well, yeah, they don't this, want him getting fucking tackled. Exactly. So they're like fucking next level security now. Molly comes out. She goes, I go, hey, Dawood's here. And she goes, I, I was like, listen, it is what it is. So I, yeah. I, 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 but I'm like, if he can. So I go in. And Molly comes back. She goes, is he Muslim? Wait, he's Muslim, right? And I was like. Is he wearing a vest? (laughs) 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 He's got to check it out the door. Yeah, he's got to check the vest. (laughs) Put it in a yonder bag. Yeah, put it in a yonder bag. (laughs) So she she goes, hold on. Let me see if that'll help. And so she goes, and and I go in. And and I want to get him in. Even when I get let in, I'm like, yeah, by the way, if you can get him. But, like, I'm already freaking out or whatever. Uh, Is Chappelle Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's <laughs> just a random thing. I, I didn't know that. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know. I was like, why would be that would be yeah, Muslim, Muslim? There's a comic there that's hanging out that <laughs> bought tickets for the first show. <laughs> they kind of, I might have already newer said it. comic, yeah. I guess. And then um, <laughs> whatever the show ends, <laughs> Dawood and Sereni do not get let into the first show. Yeah, we go and get drunk. They go and get drunk. Um, show ends i'm talking to everybody whatever he comes up to me he's like yeah bro i want to stay for the second show but they're trying to kick me out and i was like i mean i was like i mean i don't know what to tell you bro i was like i don't know go in the bathroom or something yeah he's like good idea yeah (laughs) so (laughs) now listen bro you can't take advice from me and also It's a there, good idea. It's a good idea, but there's, there's also more to the story so that kind of absolves your I go your outside, guilt. and Dawood's back, and 
Molly comes up to me a, a little bit later. leaves right now. She, yeah. she walks up. Serenity she is a Bay Area comic. Yeah, yeah. Molly she, runs she, yeah, the punchline for exactly. people. Yeah. Fair enough. Thank so you. Molly comes up and she's like, who's that guy you're talking to? I thought she was talking about this guy I was talking to in the crowd um, that was coming in for the late show. And I was like, huh. he's like, no, the, 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 the other guy that he's a comic. And I was like, I was like, I don't really know him. I, I don't know his name. He's just like talking to him. She's like, well, he's fucking done. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's like, he was trying to s- sneak into the second show. He was telling employees that he worked for Yonder. <laughs> and I was like, he's he can't be allowed on punchlines on Sundays. He has to pay. And I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Dive into the order of events a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> I'm trying to remember. They find him in the bathroom. They find him in the bathroom. And they're like, what or the they, fuck they, are you Yeah, doing? or he comes out of the bathroom. He's trying to act like normal and shit. And the way I heard it, he, he tells people he works at Yonder. And I asked that stuff afterwards. So he's telling people he worked at Yonder. Um, so that like, Yonder and, is so, the company that so puts the, line, the, f- the yeah. phones in bags. So, so the so punchline people film. are like, okay, uh, we'll go help the Yonder people. What the fuck are you doing here? So he goes over to the Yonder people. The Yonder people are like, well, who the fuck are you? He goes, oh, I work for the punchline. So they kept sending him back and forth. That's what the staff told me. They were sending him back and forth until they're like, "What the fuck is going on with this guy?" And they're like, "Like if you're like, and even they're like, if you want to pretend, like at least clean a fucking table or some shit." You know what I'm saying? That's a I don't remember her name, but one of them said that. And then that's pretty much how he got caught. And so he, they kicked him out. And then as soon as he gets kicked out, I'm standing there. Molly's telling you all this. I'm laughing, yeah. and she goes, "Fucking." He's in there trying to sneak in. What the fuck does he think he's doing? I have comic paid regulars waiting outside. Dawood's been wa- You know what? Dawood, fucking get in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they fucking, I got into the show for that one. Yeah. And so, like, the next night when she's like, all right, well, you can't come Thursday, so who deserves this? And yeah. I was like, definitely the guy that got kicked out. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I was like. I mean, you know who I think. Is yeah. Right? She's like, yeah, give me his number. And so she's like tripping. That's like fucking insane, yeah. dude. When you got that text. <laughs> she oh, was, the text. The text is so funny, bro. She goes, give me his number. I go, are you, she's like, are you sure it's his number? And I was like, I'm sure. I don't remember. I was like, I have a yeah, weird yeah, thing she, with she, phone numbers. Yeah, didn't even pull it. She said he didn't pull out your phone or anything for it. No. Course, yeah. And then, and so she's like, she goes, text the hood. And we're sitting there and text that hood. Hey, who is this? And <laughs> Like, text Dawood, who is this? Yeah. And Dawood's like, this is Dawood. She goes, cool. Uh, Mark gave me your number, just making sure it was And you, you already know what I'm thinking, yeah. right? I'm thinking, okay, he can't do it, right? So yeah. it's like, I'm going to fucking give Chappelle. Yeah, she goes, are you free tomorrow at 1030? Oh and my I'm God. like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course I am. She goes, and she goes, cool, I need you for the Cobb Showcase. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's an incredible move. Dude, <laughs> she <sends> back, sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Just sounds good, just dying inside. Molly goes, look at this. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. Molly's hilarious. Dude, Wait, Molly. that's a, so fucking fun. That's oh incredible. My God, dude, Molly. How crazy is that? I need yeah. you for the Cobb Showcase. Shout yeah. out Molly. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Just in like, that voice. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm free. Yeah. <laughs> Love the room. <laughs> <laughs> big, big. <laughs> Let's help. Yo, dude. It and was then, yeah. so funny. And she goes, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's for my Chappelle. It's for God. Chappelle. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, like, I was just so happy, bro. Yeah, dude. I was, was like, so <laughs> proud of you, bro. Yeah. I'm so happy for, for for you, man. And she didn't even know it was my birthday or anything. It just kind of. No, I not. Well, she, that would have been weird if she knew. Yeah, she knew afterwards. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. he's going to be pumped. It's his birthday. She was like, it's his birthday. She was like, this is like magical. And the first time his family ever saw him perform. Wow. Set the bar. By the way, every other show is going to suck. Everything has sucked since then. Yeah, Yeah, because they're going to want to (laughs) come. They're going to want to. They're going to like, dude. (laughs) (laughs) No, cut off his. Where is Joe Montana? (laughs) Will he come to this show? (laughs) So funny. (laughs) They think every night's like that? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <Or> Chappelle. <laughs> that is fucking insane. I'm very happy for Sounds you. Sounds yeah, good. Great. One Sounds of the good. first, one of the first times ever, I'm uh, happier for you than I am jealous. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I'm that's just good. actually, maybe we're making progress as yeah, people, but I'm like, this is actually just amazing. This is Not a heartwarming me. tale. I was jealous that he got to open for Chappelle on <laughs> <Yeah>. Thursday. <laughs> And I was the one that got You're him. You're sitting the there at the fucking mattress firm in sack, <laughs> yeah. doing 45 for 15 people. Yeah, that's 
like twenty five. Yeah. Okay. How, yeah. How did people. those sell? They were fucking. Great. Uh, they sold not be- great, but they they were so fun. Bro. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I yeah. love the crowds like and sack. 40, 50 Sac- Sac- first best, night. Bro. Yeah. 40, 50 first night. Like eighty, like a hundred something the second That's night. That's great. And like and like. Take- some people came out for me. I'm slowly building a little family. Yeah. Didn't really tell jokes in 45 minutes of crowd working review. I should have filmed because I got some fucking phenomenal. I had some phenomenal riffs. That's tough. Riffs. That's yeah. Tough. You're gonna do a whole weekend and not film. That's yeah, a, it was stupid, a, but they were they were so fucking fun. The fourth show sucked, but it was okay. It was um, just not the business. You also had an audience member try to sneak in to Chappelle. <laughs> yeah, bro. I had a guy that bought tickets to my my show on Tuesday. Oh no. By the way, Andrew, are you doing okay? My bad. No, yeah, okay. This is just a lot of just listening. I feel like I feel bad that I come. He loves listening. No, I like listening. I'm happy. You know this. <laughs> 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 I had a guy like come in, I guess, on Tuesday um, and like act like he didn't get an email or a notification or, or s- didn't see, see my post yeah. and was like, well, can I j- I'll just get tickets for this show then. Like, yeah. let's just exchange it. And they were like, <laughs> no. Yeah. At a different time, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is Dave Chappelle. I'd yeah, like yeah. to exchange my Mark Smalls ticket for one Dave Chappelle. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to exchange my Dogecoin for a Bitcoin. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Those way the same. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have this Shiba Inu. I yeah. would like to, like, dude, no. And I guess, like, freaked out, called him the N word and shit. Whoa. Yeah, my dude. fans are wilding, bro. Whoa. Yeah. Called who the N word? People working there. Dave I guess. Chappelle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, did he even get near that dude? Yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. One of, the, one of the, uh, the, the, um, the ticket chick and then one of the bouncers, I guess. Is this someone you went to high school with, probably? I don't know who it is. Uh, but I did. We did find out because he left a Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> we should read the Yelp review. It's yeah. just the N word. How it? <laughs> I didn't think you could get much wider than uh, calling someone the N word because you didn't get your way. But when you leave a Yelp review, you've reached peak. But they called. They said he called. The, they called him an N word. Oh, it's N word gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AKA a- no water gates. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mark, you would have loved that if yeah. you were listening. It's a she said, he said, N word. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, and so like I was just like, get the, f- yeah. So I banned him. You have to, but you don't know who it is. Banned him from your chat? What uh, does that mean? <laughs> my chat. I banned him from my family. <laughs> yeah, no, Dad? from my fucking he, from the show. Because oh. the same people are going to be working. I was like, you know what he looks like. Yeah. He's, he's, no, you can't have that. It's like he's not allowed in. Those people are excommunicated. And then I I posted about it, saying like, yeah, it's he's he's banned. He <laughs> used the full word. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> under yeah. any circumstances. Yeah. Uh, oh my His God, name is Mark so L. Oh. Okay, and I just don't know. It seems guy. like a. Let me see. <laughs> We're all looking. Imagine showing up to an event you booked months in advance, arranged a babysitter for, took time off for then show up for the day, only find out that three days prior they rescheduled the show entirely. Ra ba ba ba. That part. How you about know, when you walk away from such a venue, you were called a bitch ass. You know. <laughs> Yep. Did he type it out? By their no, absolutely it's, it's terrible and ghetto bouncer staff. Okay. Now we know oh, who yeah. said it. <laughs> yeah. When you say ghetto bouncer staff, when you say get, you know, we know. Yeah. 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 This is my favorite, though, is when they go it's like the this. the best kind of bouncer I can't staff. recommend <laughs> enough not giving this place a dime of your money. Go to Cobb's Comedy Club instead. <laughs> <laughs> you yes. You fucking dumbass. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's good. That's a, I love that. That is really funny. Yeah. Don't Shout drink out to Coke, Mark Smalls, the great Diet comedian Coke. that unfortunately I'm now not attending. Yeah, you're not attending, bitch. Yeah. And I put that out there. Uh, and for the, anyone who doesn't get the joke, Cobbs and Punchline are owned by the same people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same club. Yeah. <laughs> and they're ghetto employees. Nah, dude, you're just banned, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's so sorry. That's rough. God damn, he must have loved you though. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> it's like when that lady doesn't get her chicken nuggets in the drive-through and like start losing her mind. 
Yeah, <laughs> like at, you at the beginning of that, I'm like, you know, that would be a it very frustrating. frustrating situation. You get a sitter, it's a whole thing. You've been planning on this. You're like, okay, well, can I at least go to the show? And they're like, no. And you're like, what the fuck? I don't. It went south from there. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's no. There's no. F- possible way he missed all the notifications you missed yeah. all the notifications because i talked to the the homie that was working the door he's like this dude was just like because i was like he was just probably trying to swindle and he's yeah. like yeah he was just trying to swindle in yeah. like there's no yeah possible he probably way. got the notifications he's like i'm gonna make I'm this get, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm gonna, I'm gonna use idea. my fucking privilege yeah he probably doesn't even have kids yeah, I, I, I can't imagine him having. Kids. It was a house sitter, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a dog sitter. <laughs> Mark yeah. L, Mark L, you take that L. Take the yeah. L, Mark L. That's an L, bro. What a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> what a fucking dumbass, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's rude. That's so crazy. fucking stupid, dude. Go to the cops. I mean, I I have cops. <laughs> that's so funny. Call that's the so cops, great. bro. Ah, uh, yep. Well, that sounds like a, quite a fucking time. eventful week. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything. A couple fights at Sacramento. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> a couple people got kicked out. Start trying to fight the staff. My fans are wild and bro. Yeah. Uh, Sacramento's yeah, just crazy. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. heard of that. Sacramento's just wild, bro. <laughs> yeah, I had my bachelor party in Cabo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. That was pretty crazy. Um, Who'd you, did you open up for anybody out there? I, I did. I opened up for Fluffy. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is the first Mexican guy who came to mind? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, who would you go with? I don't know, Felipe Esparza. Oh, I was going with Mencia and then, uh, then Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I went Fluffy. Who yeah. were we with who was like, oh, it was your cousin was like, Oh, did you do any shows down yeah, there? I was like, is, no, dude. I, yeah. I, I did. I make a scene down there. Yes, no, yeah. yes. No, we met some dude in Vegas who was like, "Oh, I run stuff in Cabo. Come do shows." And I'm like, "I'm never gonna do that." No, no. My cousin was like, "You Cabo, should do that." I'm like, "That's wanna. not how this works." Like, yeah, you don't really want to. Yeah. It's like there's a lot I'm of places to, that you're like, if I'm here, I'm not vacation. doing yeah, comedy. Yeah. Right. If you want to fly me to Cabo to yeah. do, but even then, it's like, oof, yeah. Exactly. Cabo was fun? It was fun. I was just realizing, I was like, yeah, that, a lot of stories I'm not going to tell on the podcast, but okay. uh, right. it was it was <laughs> a really good time. I'm glad you brought it up then. Yeah. Uh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, what do you got? <laughs> I, I didn't do shit. This. I went to Disneyland. Like, there you go. Disneyland. That's fun. Oh. Yeah. They're opening up a Super Nintendo World at Universal Ooh, yeah. Studios soon. Oh, really? really? Damn. Damn. I have a Universal season pass, and I regret it. It sucks. Well, pretty soon it's not going to suck. Yeah, Super yeah. Nintendo World. That's no. actually you get to, like, pretty jump tight. on turtles and shit. Yeah, yeah. Dowd's had a that renaunce with theme parks. He went to Universal twice in what two weeks? Yeah, I went to Universal twice in two weeks. And then I was like, he disappeared I went to all day. America day. on <laughs> Sunday. Why? Uh, I have a season pass for Good America, and you know why not? I have to make it, make it worth it. And then I was getting my hair cut in Anaheim with my cousin from his barber. Tell me you went to Disneyland. Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Uh, what, like, what do you like? You just, you I, love being around people. I love social. roller coasters. And I like being around people. I like yeah. social stuff. Yeah. I, I need to, uh, I'm very, I'm both. I need to recharge a lot. So like yeah. I need to just be left the fuck alone a little bit. But when I'm charged up. Yeah, I'm ready to get around go. people and just live life. And I was hanging out with Afghan people, so like they the mm. Afghans love the theme park. Huh? They love the theme park. I actually Buka. saw that after the, the Taliban took over and they took over the theme park yeah. and they're fucking riding the, <laughs> riding, the riding all the rides and shit. <laughs> we love the like, thrills. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's gonna do it? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> you want to thrill yourself? There it is. <laughs> yeah. I just imagine them like holding their fucking dashikis down. <laughs> dashikis? <laughs> no. <laughs> the fucking, you know us. The, like, <laughs> <it's laughs> Middle Eastern people wearing dashikis. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? The robes? Yeah, it's just the clothing. I don't know. Yeah. What do you call <laughs> it? They're like doing the Marilyn Monroe thing coming down the road. It's just like, we're under like a pit. That's very funny. That's actually very funny. <laughs> uh, hold on, dear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I performed for Afghan people on Monday. Nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that the one that um was that the don't was that the charity fundraiser thing that, that I took a very big pay cut for? Yeah. Found out how much the DJ was getting paid, and I got oh, very upset. Oh, that's a bummer. How dude. much yeah. did DJ get paid? Uh, five times what I was getting paid. Shit. Yeah. Five yeah, DJs times. Are more talented than us. I guess. How how would yeah. you how did your set go? 
Uh, it went well. Yeah. Yeah. Good. There was a younger crowd, and I kind of like tailored it a little. I was a little bit safer. But yeah. They they liked everything. You weren't like. <laughs> you think if a Muslim puts her phone on airplane mode? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you do those? <laughs> did you do like Muslim stuff? I did Muslim jokes. They were cool with it. Um, I just didn't. I didn't do the Gen Z joke, because I, I I don't want to deal with it. But yeah, you don't always have to like. Yeah. I, I, there's definitely a line between like you don't want to be a pussy and only uh, make jokes about people when they're not in the room, but at the same time you don't need to go out of your way to ruin an event you if got paid for <laughs> just to make a point. Exactly. If it's a charity event, so because I'm just gonna, they just want to, I'm just gonna keep it light, fluffy. Did a bunch of crowd work and did like fifteen, twenty, and then I was it. So. Yeah. But I had to follow a guy who did an hour about. The tragedy of refugees and like, people no are crying, fucking, and like, and then you go up, and then I'm like, "Hey, everybody, who's ready to laugh?" I'm just like, "Oh, this is gonna suck," but I, I made a comment. I'm like, "Hey, it sucks for the refugees, but let's uh, let's, let's pivot." And they're like, they're like, "What the fuck?" At least we're not them, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I tried to like pivot. The first like line I did riff didn't work, and I was like, "Fuck it," just kind of started picking Refugee, up people. Gee, that's sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But dude, yeah. Andrew, you did that corporate gig and and dude, I got fired. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Okay, yeah. No, nah, you don't. Get, you got put on severance. You got laid off. Yeah, I did. I but did. like, which I is did. the greatest thing ever. But like, dude, I've never been more frustrating reading an email. That like, was a bad email. That was a very defense. weird email. Just them being like, um, like. <laughs> Should I give a backstory? Yeah, yeah. So I, I I got booked for this corporate gig for this like fitness company Fitness. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i was too slow was we're all slow. like uh, uh, i have cte from the roller coasters <laughs> <laughs> dude, we got the fast pass dude i have rid every roller coaster eight times like back to back so i have like nice. he- wow. i have headaches i'm pretty sure i'm dying That's i love how you said rid <laughs> i have rid ridden ridden roden road road i rode a bunch of roller coasters yes. righted yeah, right. Sure. I like ride it. Yeah. I have ride Let me it. rid that cock <laughs> 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 of the diseases. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Rid yeah, it of the yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's no good. I I got paid to they paid me like a month in advance and it was like a good amount of money. Nice. And they wanted me to do two shows. How much? <laughs> Should I say? Yeah. If you're comfortable. Uh, 1600 bucks. Damn. <laughs> yeah. 1600 for a Zoom much? show. You're going to leave oh, your... for Zoom. For a Fuck Zoom yeah, show. Wow, yeah. that's upsetting. That's yeah. awesome. I'm happy for you on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like and Chappelle. they paid me yeah. like a month in advance and they wanted me because it was like it was Asian uh, a- AAPI month. Pride month. Like, last month. Asians, man. Yeah. <laughs> but the company was mostly white. It was, it was very <laughs> interesting. <Asians>. Fucking white <laughs> Asians. Yeah. <bro. laughs> And then they hit me up. They were like, "Hey, do clean like PG thirteen. And then I, I do the, I get to the Zoom whatever meeting, and then I'm like, "Hey, PG thirteen? They're like, "No, we, ex- we said it was explicit. So whoever comes here knows it's gonna be like you could do whatever you want." Nice. And then I do the show and I do my bits, and then they send an email like literally like a minute after I finish. Like I close the Zoom and then get an email. And then they were they sent me that long email that was like, "Hey, everybody felt like he was pulling uh, pulling back. He would test out the waters with the material, but he wouldn't go any further." And then the next paragraph was, "He did make fun of white women, and he didn't make fun of any other race. Can he not like do that?" And it was like, so "Okay." Weird. No, they were like, they literally were like, "Dude, why are you holding back?" Yeah. Right. Also, right. We can't have you just pick on white women. Yeah, it's like, dude, uh, dude, something about it pissed Here. me off so fucking much. <laughs> let me, let me something it about it pissed me off so much. It was so a Karen much. revolt, dude. Because yeah. they were literally like, don't Come for the back. blacks. <laughs> don't hold back, but hold back. <laughs> okay, prior to the event, was able to look at Andrew's past performances and thought they were great and excited to hear his material live. Right Oops. No, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> whatever timestamp. No, no, no. Um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. no. How, fuck them. How, however, they felt that Andrew may have been holding back and seemed a bit toned down. They understand that this may have been the case since it's a corporate event. They mentioned at times it seems that he would test the waters on how far he can go with his material, but overall seemed to be holding back. It's over Zoom, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Did you do toilet paper bit? I did. Ah, they love, dude. <laughs> I honestly, I I crushed. Yeah, yeah. Like for Zoom shows, I thought crushed I crushed white women. I, th- I thought I did really well. Yeah. Oh, this is this is the sentence that frustrated me so much. Ex- 
Oh, uh, whoop. <laughs> That's good. You caught First it. First of all, your fucking name is. Uh, 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 <laughs> how, uh, <laughs> the name. The network name is literally. Uh, and yeah. then it's like, but we're not. Oh, dude, I fucking was so mad about yeah. that. I, dude, I would have been fucking furious. Uh, basically, no name networks just wants to let Andrew know that they are comfortable with. This sentence is so frustrating. Just want to let Andrew know that they are comfortable with any and all material. Their only request is to keep it PG-13. How the <laughs> fuck does that make sense? How are you comfortable with any and all but keep it PG-13? That's not any and all. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. That's that's not that, that sentence is redundant and you should lose all funding for your company. <laughs> it should burn in a fire and all of your employees <laughs> should perish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I should, you should have told me to send that. <laughs> any and all material. And then any and, and all material that fits in the new yeah. Buzz Lightyear movie. So they sent that, and then I was supposed to. That was at eleven in the morning, or the Zoom was at ten a.m. in the morning. That was the show. And then they were like, "Okay, come back at ten or eleven thirty p.m. to do the Asian office." And then uh, I, I was just gonna say Asian off, and I was yeah. like, Asian off. <laughs> <laughs> And then they sent me a they <laughs> sent just like battle somebody. And then they sent me a thing where the like, he could cut out the the restaurant bit because they won't get it over there. And I was like, all right, whatever. Uh, they eat live chickens. Any <laughs> and all material. Well, because I did a I did. A, is this like a what do you mean over there? Is this like a Filipino office or something? No, like this is like India or something. So, okay. So, but the, the I did the tier list. Yeah. But with restaurants and they were like and I could have switched it up to whatever they have over there, you know? Yeah. And then um they were like, Don't do that and then I was like, All right, whatever, I'll be back and then they messaged me midday and they was like, Hey, uh we reviewed it with uh the higher ups and we're just gonna cancel the event and I was like, Okay and then they're like, Well good thing that you we paid you in advance so you get to keep it. I was like, I was gonna keep that anyway, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's under my contract, not yours. That's great. Dude, you know. getting paid to do one show. It's not like you want to keep doing, you know, gigs for the same corporate. It's kind of perfect. Yeah. That's Any and all. Yeah. yeah, dude. It's so frustrating. And it was seriously like the joke that I did, you've heard it. It's yeah. not even bad at all. It's just like a con. Well, you have you have no like <laughs> Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kyle walks in with I a football thought, yeah. like we're truly in a dorm room. <laughs> the most It looks like he's going to fuck us all, dude. He yeah. walks in with a football. Just got done with the game. I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> that was the most like 80s intro TV yeah. show yeah. <laughs> scene I've ever seen. Woo! Kyle! <laughs> yeah. Kyle, Kyle's here. I had, I, had, I had just screamed at the top of my lungs, so I thought we were getting raided by yeah. the cops. <laughs> now we just leave. We probably <laughs> should rap. I actually have. A we, we also in, came in very minutes. hot when yeah. he saw. It. We have a very podcast mode. He's like, "Hey, what's going on?" Oh, no, 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 Kyle. <laughs> All right, we should. Uh, we should uh, end this. It's been an hour. Yeah. Um, All right. Um, Any patrons. Plugs? Oh, I yeah, I want to plug. So my, I actually will be performing at the Punchline, ideally on my date. But I actually hope Dave Chappelle bumps me. <laughs> that would yeah. be the hope. But if not, I'll just do my lowly <laughs> night alone. Uh, Always book it in the Warriors. He might be back then because yeah. the Warriors are. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they'll. They're gonna go deep enough in the playoffs to be on July twenty sixth. Oh, yeah, at yeah, the punchline. But I'm saying he might, Chappelle might be back. The chances of that happening are slim, but I appreciate the Not optimism. Not for you, fool. I'm just saying in general. For, yeah. for what, do you want to hang out with him? You best friends now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Did you not hear the stories? Yeah. <laughs> July 26th. Go yeah. see Joey. Yeah. Go see Joey. Go see Joey. And uh, let's thank some patrons. Uh, two Cup, Shakur, Chris, oh, yeah. Everything Goes Dumb, Nathan, Dallas, and Sierra. Yeah, our new our patron, new Sierra. Shout out. Thanks, Sierra. Appreciate, appreciate you, Sierra. That, homie. Thank you, Dallas. Thank you, Two Cup. Thank you, <laughs> Madison. I don't think there's a Madison. And Dusty. I already said it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tanner, Bryce, really appreciate you guys. Yeah. Shout out to the network that fired, that laid off Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And um, we'll see you next week. All right. Peace. Bye.